in this example we will revise norton theorem so here we are using very basic circuit in which there are two different voltage sources of 9 volt and 6 volt so before starting norton theorem first we should know that if we are having any circuit that can be converted into norton's equivalent circuit using this norton theorem in that norton equivalent circuit there should be one norton's current which is known as in in should be in parallel with the norton equivalent resistance and in the end there should be one load resistance in parallel so here the rl value is similar to the resistance value across which we need to obtain the value of current so here the rl value is we can see in this circuit it is 2 kilo ohm so since it is required to find out the value of current ix across this 2 kilo ohm resistance that's why your 2 kilo ohm resistance is your rl value now you can see that in Norton theorem we have to find out first the value of in and the value of r these two things are required here so for calculation of rn that is known as norton's equivalent resistance so for calculation of rn the first point is we have to remove the rl value so here 2 kilo ohm resistance is removed and now we have to short circuit the voltage source since this circuit is having only voltage sources so that voltage sources are shorted if there was any current source that should be open circuited now then we have to find out the rth value so just remember that whenever we are finding not an equivalent or thermis equivalent resistance in any circuit always remember the point from where we have removed the rl value so here we have removed rl from the points a and b now so we can see that in this situation so one kilo ohm resistance it is in parallel with four kilo ohm resistance for calculation of rm so just remember that we are calculating the Norton equivalent resistance across terminal A and B. So that's why 1 and 4 they are in parallel. So the equivalent resistance will be 1 cross 4 upon 1 plus 4. It will be 4 by 5 kilo ohm. That is the value of your Rn value. So the Rn part is calculated. That is 4 by 5 kilo ohm. The next stage is we have to find out the value of In. So for finding In, So we have to short circuit the RL that is your load resistance and we have to again apply the value of voltage sources as it was there in the previous circuit. So then we are having one path which is shorted here and the current across that path is known as the Norton's current. Now there can be various method to find out the value of this IN. We can apply mesh analysis to find out the value of in this in will be in minus i2 or we can also use source of summation method so here source is much easier so if we are having 9 volt supply and the series resistance 1 kilo ohm there can be a current source value of 9 milliampere which we which will be in parallel with the 1 kilo ohm resistance which was in series earlier there is already one shorted path across which we are finding in value now this 4 kilo ohm will be in parallel and the current equivalence of this 6 volt and with 4 kilo ohm resistance it will be 6 by 4 that is 3 by 2 milliampere now we can see that in this situation we are having two resistances parallel with one shorted line so in this case these path will not receive any current and the total value of current across this in part or we can say across this ab the total current that is your in it should be equals to 9 plus 3 by 2 it will be 10.5 milliampere so now we have obtained two things one is your rn value that is 4 by 5 so the current value is 10.5 milliampere Rn value is 4 by 5 kilo ohm. It was 4 by 5 kilo ohm. And it was in parallel with the low resistance, which is 2 kilo ohm. So, since we have to apply this Norton's 
theorem to find out the value of current across these two film resistance which is your IL value. So now we will apply here current division method. The value of current will be equals to 10.5 cross 4 by 5 divided by 2 plus 4 by 5. So from here we can calculate the value of current, load current, which will be equals to the 3 milliampere value. Since the values of resistances are in kilo ohm, the value of current will be in milliampere. So if we are required to find out the drop across this 2 kilo resistance, that will be 3 milliampere into 2 kilo ohm, the drop will be equals to 6 volt. So this is known as Norton, sorry, not Thevenin's. It should be Norton's equivalent circuit. And we can also convert the same circuit into Thevenin's sequence using source transformation method. So we are having one current source parallel with this resistance so that can be converted into voltage source of the value 10.5 into 4 by 5. Now the resistance of 4 by 5 will be in series. Again, it will be in series with 2 kilo ohm value. So, this circuit is Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So, we can convert this Norton circuit into Thevenin's part using source transformation.